Friday night. You excited? Guys, I'm doing my Intel summary. My hubby's getting ready for his work, so I'm doing this Intel summary. Happy Friday night. Um, I'm your faith and financial guru. If you need an appointment with me to figure out how to do this exchange or how to make sure you don't have to sign an NDA, you can contact me. I'll put my email down below. You can email me. However, at this late date, I'm going on vacation to Hawaii with my amazing husband through my amazing company. You can check the link down below that says Shakes. That company is sending us on an all expense paid trip to Hawaii. So we're leaving and we won't be back until next week. So if you send me an email at this point, you're not going to get in until next week. But let's see what happens, right? Because I'm always here for you. I want you to be safe. And God has called me to this platform to help you with this wealth transfer because I have a tremendous background with being a, a public accountant, a public accountant with uh, Price Waterhouse, where I audited banks. I also dated a branch manager for five years. I also um, was offered the CFO position three times before the age of 32, and I've been studying this for 11 years, and I think I know a little bit about it and how to secure your investment. So if you need information on how to secure your investment, you can get some private time with me, and you can email me down below to see all my rates and stuff. If you email me, I'll reply with all my rates. And you can check it out and then schedule something. This is Bruce's intel as of last night. It says, be a wiser now. They are trading the rates up. Iraq did what they needed to do. They're all good to go. They've already been sending out hydrocarbon law funds on the, on the profit sharing, if you will, the oil and gas in Iraq. Maybe we get notified Saturday. Maybe it's Monday afternoon. But either way we go, it's finally moving forward. This final results for us. Guys, thank you for all of, in my community. I honor you. I thank you for joining me in praying this thing in because God told me it was done a little over a year ago, but I had to build the community so we could bring it in because that really works God when there's a there's a certain amount of people praying this in. So I hope you will join us. Please subscribe, tap the bell so you can join us in praying this in. I go live coffee and conversations every morning except when I'm in Hawaii, but um, I'm going to go live tomorrow. You can hear all about how you can get caught up while I'm away. So I look forward to seeing you on Coffee and Conversation in the morning. This is news hound guru, Militia Man. We love Militia Man. The parallel market is a black market. It's illegal. They're not supposed to be doing it. They're only supposed to be doing trade in dinar. At some point in time, whether it be today, tomorrow, or the next day, or out of the end of the year, they're going to de-dollarize the country. They've already been de-dollarizing, guys. A lot of people were sad when they heard that report, but don't be sad. Stay positive, because God literally told me it's done. And he said, if you're going to de-dollarize the country, you're going to need to bring it you're going to bring the dinar some value because the dollar is worth a lot more than a dinar at the moment. Yeah, he's right. I agree with him, but we can't focus on the negatives right now, guys. We need to focus on it coming in. This is news hound guru, Jeff. He actually contacted me and we talked and uh, he says a very, very important article came out. Iraq prohibits cash withdrawals in dollar early January, 2024. This is either very, very extremely good new or very extremely bad news. Quote, the country will ban cash withdrawals and transactions in dollars starting from January 2024 in the latest effort to limit the misuse of the country's hard currency reserves and financial crimes. Again, this is according to him, not me. Um, this is either very bad news or very good news. If you receive it as good news, it has nothing to do with the rate change, especially in the month of January. The rate is not changing in January. This is his opinion. Guys, you need to you need to take everybody, every guru's opinion right now with a grain of salt because we always knew there would be misinformation. I went to sleep last night listening to Kim Clement's prophecy. He would say, this is going to happen when, Iraq, when, when America seems at its worst and it looks the worst. That's when it's going to revalue. So keep the faith. Just keep tuning in. I keep you positive. I keep you, help you manifesting this. Um, God's giving me the keys to the kingdom. And you really need to check out my channel and you'll you'll understand what I'm saying. This is Mark Z. Z. We love Mark Z. A lot of my sources feel that Monday is our day. A lot of them actually think our day is before that. And Monday is when we start going to the bank. <laughs> that'd be great. Right before I go on vacation, that'd be fantastic, Mark. Thank you. They are all expecting big things this weekend. I am hesitant to say if it's a go or not go just yet, but I'm excited about the potential. There's nothing negative at all. I agree with Mark Z. No reason to be negative. Some people have texted me saying, oh, these reports made me feel negative. You are in control of how you feel. Never, ever let anybody else make you feel negative. You either believe this is happening or it's not. That's up to you. But I, I hope you will join me in believing it's already done like God told me to tell you. Um, Frank 26, Iraq boots on the ground report by Firefly. They're saying within two weeks, it'll be the first step of the electronic transfer for 
transfer formation. Frank, in two weeks, they told Iraqi citizens they will be the first step to the election to the electronic transfer formation, which started on the 28th of last month. So what are your intentions in two weeks, CBI? What are you sending across the border internationally? So I love Frank 26 because he's very dramatic and I love that about him. So thank you, Frank, for that. And then this is Newstown guru Sandy. I don't hear from her a lot. It says article Iraq to end all dollar cash withdrawals. That's the same thing that, that um, Militiaman brought. Breaking news, Iraq will bank cash withdrawals and transactions in U.S. dollars as of January 1st, 2024, and the latest push to curb the misuse of hard currency reserves and financial crimes and invasion of the U.S. sanctions on Iraq. That is why my ninja clients, remember U.S. sanctions on Iraq? That is why you need to be a ninja. So you understand how not to fall into that trap when you talk to your sources. Amen? Comment down below if you know what I'm talking about. If you're one of my ninja clients, please comment down below. Yes, yes, I know what she's talking about. Please say yes, yes, I know what she's talking about. This move aims to stamp out all the illicit use of some 50% of the 10 billion U.S. dollars that Iraq imports in cash from New York Federal Reserve each year. Guys, this is major. It is so major, guys. There's so much going on. It is so good, guys. I don't care how negative you think this is. God has been keeping me going for the last year and a half on morning coffee and conversations, giving me a break to Hawaii so I can rest before I run. This is the rest before the restoration. Do not despise the day of small beginnings because God is bringing this in. Newshound Guru Claire article, Iraq prohibits cash withdrawals. Everybody's focusing on that. Oh, I'm not focusing on that. <sighs> okay, so this is from Mark Z via PDK. So from bankers in different states, they were told they are officially on standby. We have not seen that in a very, very, very long time. And I've never gotten it from multiple states in different areas that are unrelated. And these are from different top tier banks. So this is something going out from multiple banks. And guys, if you're my ninja clients, you understand it's been different when we call the top tier banks. Okay. Right. Right. Comment down below if you agree with me. Please comment down below and please join us on Coffee and Conversation so you know what I'm talking about. Because, guys, this is so done. Guys, I hope this was positive. Please comment 777 down below if you're feeling blessed that you're a part of this. Please hang on, guys. Do not let any of these reports make you fall into the negative pit of destruction. This is the, the, the equivalent of my gold hat because God told me to tell you it's done. So I hope you will join me. Please subscribe and tap the bell because I'm a unique voice in this space. And I have my own intel source. His name is Sandman. I talked to him. I talked about him. His reports came in. He's live on the ground in Iraq. And he has an interpreter there. And it's a unique source that nobody else has. It's called Mr. Sandman 1 and 2. And so join me if you want a unique voice in this space. And we're all positive. We all think it's done in Jesus' name. Thank you. God bless. May peace and prosperity be in your house always. I hope you like this. I hope you will comment down below. This is my summary for Friday night on, what is it, October 6th? Holy cow, time's flying fast. God bless everybody. Please, please reward me with a like and a subscribe because I'm working really hard here for everybody. I'm the only one who goes live coffee and conversation every morning, seven days a week. That's about to end though because I'm going on vacation. And so please comment down below if you think I deserve a vacation because I think I do. Amen. Right before this happens. So guys, there's plenty of time to schedule a ninja with me. I love you all. My palm's been itching. If your palm's been itching, comment down below. This is happening right now. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless.